So, the panel's been up for a few months now, and um, people have been asking me how well they're going, and asking for updates. So here we go, I've just come up here on the shed roof, and just to see if um, there are any signs of the frames rotting or anything like that. And there are no signs of that, seeing if the panels were clean and everything, and they are. Um, checking the position, they haven't moved. So, this is looking good. So, um, with people asking me for updates and stuff, I thought, well, today is the day to do that. So, I'm going to give you a quick update now. Alright. The basic components of the solar power system haven't really changed. There's, um, you know, the charge controller, the monitor, the consumer unit, the uh, terminals, the batteries and the inverters. Um, the basics are still there and, not, and haven't really changed. But, there have been some changes and I'll explain what these are now. In fact, there's a couple of changes yesterday, but I'll explain. So, I have contactors now. Contactors with a mechanical interlock. They're controlled by a relay. And what this does is this selects a power source, either solar, if there is, if solar is available, or mains, if solar is not available. And it feeds it through a wire, and I, um, I run my office from that, and whatever else I need to run. So, yeah, it's like a bit of a, I don't know, a lo basically a logical if um, thing, where it will just say, if the coil is powered on one, then use that one, if the coil is not powered then use the other one. So yeah, if there's solar use power, use solar power sorry, if there's no solar power use mains. So that's what that does. Uh, so that's been added. A couple of other changes. Um, the inverters have got these remote controls. But I opened one of those up and found out how it worked. and. I've adjusted it to um, work the way I want it to work, namely, I've got a relay here, and this relay um, basically is in, the relay switch is basically in parallel with this switch, <coughs> excuse me, so using the Raspberry Pi, I can now switch on the inverter, and it works, so that, that's been added as well. I've got a lot of sensors, um, so... Yep, yeah, got sensors in, in the way of um, Allegro um, ACS units and also some homemade voltage dividers. So this let me, or these let me monitor um, the voltage and amperage throughout the system. So um, they are for what's going to the inverter, basically. Um, power going to the inverter. So that's that. Um, and I have um, battery voltage as well there. So I have that. I've got another one that I've just made. It hasn't been wired up properly yet. This is um, an ACS712 current sensor with a voltage divider. It's actually a half a, a light sensor in there as well. That bit there. That's half my light sensor. Just get it to focus. Yeah, there we go. These are so these are sensors. That's that's one. This is the load sensor. Um, again, an ACS seven one two, and another voltage divider. So this basically that gives me the voltage, which the load is at, which will probably should be about two hundred and twenty ish. That will give me the current. Um, back to this one. This is the the solar input. Again, that's the current, and um, this is the voltage divider, which will give me the voltage of the solar. Um, so that's what I've just done uh, yesterday. I've just tidied those up and put them in little boxes. Right, now, another thing that I need to tell you about um, is this. this. This jumble of wires here. I attempted to tidy this up yesterday, so I made these little boxes. So in here, oops, just zoomed in there. So in here, 
I've got an Arduino Pro Mini, a UART thing, so I can program the Arduino. Um, a dill header there, where I feed in 5 volts in one side and ground on the other side. I've got a voltage divider there as well. And the voltage divider is because the Raspberry Pi takes in 3.3 volts, but the Arduino uh, likes 5 volts. So I have, I have to divide it down. Um, but yeah, this Arduino it basically reads from the sensors um, several times per second. Um, so, so that's the Arduino side, and then the Raspberry Pi is in this box here. So we've got the Raspberry Pi and the antenna. The Raspberry Pi. Um, Transmit the data to my server, and on my server, I've got some software to um, do various uh, analytics and stuff. Um, this Raspberry Pi is also in control of the relay as well, which I mentioned earlier. The relay through this little cable here. Uh, where, oh, right, it's not plugged in at the minute, but it'll, it'll be there. So that's what I've got up to now, anyway. And it, and Regarding the actual solar power, it does work, but it's just a case of um, understanding what you can get from it and when to turn the inverters on and off and when to make best use of it really, uh, whilst at the same time protecting the batteries from too much discharge and various other things. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!